Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to talk a little bit about how the Quaint Quant Conference here in Dallas went. So this is, again, if you don't know, uh, two years back, coffee meetup, Dallas. I was like, hey, let's just meet up. Whoever wants to meet with me, we can sit and chat. Turned out to be like 12 to 15 people. It was amazing. Um, people had a lot of great questions. Students drove out from like UT Austin, which is like three and a half, four hours away. Uh, we all met, just had a great time. There were some other practitioners from DFW area. So Dallas, Fort Worth area that I didn't know. Awesome time. Last year, Agora said, Hey, let's make this a conference. Why don't we just do it at the office? 45 people. Amazing. Uh, this year was like the big move. Like we wanted to make this much bigger. We we're really going to invest a lot more time in the marketing and getting, you know, all the pieces put together. Uh, last year, I last minute planned it. This year, we had enough time to really get it going. 193 people signed up. Uh, of course, there's some people that just can't make it or something comes up. I have no idea what the final count was, but it was pretty good this year. Like it was a good amount of people. I'm saying at least 150 people came, maybe 160, maybe 170. Um, but it was amazing. It went 10 times better than I expected it to go, which is it's great to hear. Um, when you plan these conferences, I thought I'd give you guys a little overview on the conference itself and a little bit of kind of the behind the scenes, what goes into these conferences. Um, so we had 20 speakers, three tracks. This was not necessarily by my intentional design. I just started reaching out to people that I was like, oh, I would love to have, you know, Agusa Gianto come. I'd love to have David Shimko come. I'd love to have David Shi uh, Galati, one of my colleagues, present. And then like the list just kept growing. So as I'm like firing off these emails, I'm like, I have to have these people. Like these are the best people I know. Uh, these would be great individuals. And there were some people in my mind, I will tell you in the back of my mind, I'm like, I should invite them. I really want them to come. And then I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's going to be too much of a burden. Like, I don't want to be a burden on people of like coming to my conferences to do this. So this year was 20 of the best and the brightest though. Um, I have great interactions, great personal relationships with almost everyone that came. I met a few new speakers, which was awesome. Connected with people I had not talked to in years because we worked at past companies um, and we had kind of passed each other, but hadn't had a lot of interactions. It was great just to meet up with everyone. Um, the conference was very quaint. I will tell you that. There was more networking and chatting than I have seen at any other conference. And we had a good blend of probably about 55, 60% students. Um, and then of course, like, you know, 45 to 40 ish percent practitioners. It was great. Uh, I saw a lot of students like literally just sitting down and talking to a bunch of the presenters. And it's like, I remember I was, I was running behind. I was chaos. Like a chicken with my head cut off. I had so many things going on at this conference. Um, but it was nice seeing like I looked over and it was like one of the uh, speakers, very seasoned practitioners sitting there. And there's a student just sitting in a chair in front of them. And they're there for a while. Like I kept glancing over just chatting about I have no idea what, um, but it was great to see those sorts of interactions just naturally occurring, a lot more networking occurring. And again, it's not like, hey, how do I get a job? It's more like, hey, I'm really interested in this topic. You know, you know, share your thoughts with me. Tell me about your careers or I'm a student. You know, what am I trying? I'm trying to do this, that and the other. And this is what I want to do and trying to explain it out. So a great conference, a great set of presentations. Uh, we had a few speakers that were nervous because their presentations were very technical. Talked to both speakers and they were like, I had more questions at this conference, insightful, interesting questions than I've had at other conferences I've been to. So Dimitri, we're really thankful that you had us come to this. That was amazing. Uh, other speakers were just blown away with like the amount of interactions that they had as well. So not even just questions, but interacting with people, speakers, um, students, other practitioners were coming up and you know saying, hey, I'm really interested in this, that, and the other. Uh, I really appreciate your presentation. And there were lots of questions and kind of interactions just happening across the board here. So for me, it's hard too, because to give you guys perspective, uh, I did a little bit of an intro for the conference. Um, and then I wanted to be removed from the conference, essentially, just because I like to have everybody else have their expertise, their discussion points, right? It's really to highlight the whole quant community. And that's really the theme of quaint quant conference is to bring the community together and highlight all the experts and the students and the interests and all the people that are involved in this community. Um, and 
Anyways, I ended up doing the intro. I ended up doing two panels I hosted, which was fun. I had a lot of fun doing them, to be honest with you guys. I was nervous and had, which I don't have it with me, a little notepad with some questions we had prepped on these panels beforehand. And I did hit a few of them. And then the conversations just rolled. Like the panelists were great. They were interactive. They were just having this like natural conversation. I felt like it was more open and honest, which we rarely see a lot of conferences because everyone's like so, you know, nervous. Um, I intentionally did not market, for example, uh, who people were with too much. Like I don't really care where you worked. I just want to bring in people I know that are awesome quants that have a lot of good experience in career depth uh, or work in the quant finance industry somewhere that are doing different parts of it. Um, so I ran two panels, one on FinTech um, and one on challenges facing challenges and opportunities facing the banking community. Went through a lot of different interesting highlights. Like in the FinTech one, it was talking about some of the challenges of starting a business, running a business, uh, getting investors, uh, a lot of things on hiring, for example, communication was a challenge. These sorts of aspects was great. A lot of things you don't think about unless you're a founder or starter of a company or someone who's on the flip side and doing the investing of that. Um, on the the um, actual challenges in the banking side, we talked a lot about the value of model validation. Has it gone too far? If it has gone too far, how do you wind it back? How do we stop checking boxes and get more into you know making production you know, models without getting, you know, too much in the weeds, who owns the responsibility of these models. These topics, to be honest with you guys, were not even on the list of questions I had. We just deviated into these because this is where the conversation was heading. This is what the panelists were talking about. So that was awesome. Lunch was great. Um, I did not have time to really, you know, sit down and have like a nice fun lunch with people. Um, I was answering questions in the the stage area where I was at before. Ran, grabbed lunch, met a few people, chatted. Um, but in general, like I didn't, I would love to be like a fly on the wall and be able to see everything going on. But I will slowly gather this insight and probably send out a, a questionnaire to figure out like what can we do better? What did you guys like about the conference? That sort of thing. So if you attended, um, the questionnaire will probably be coming out in, I don't know, a couple of weeks. And then again, the second half, I was just running around doing organizational pieces, making sure my presentation was ready. Um, there was two more tracks again. I was not involved in those tracks, but I had a great time to listen uh, to David Chimko's presentation, at least the first half before I get pulled off uh, and go handle some of the conference, um, you know, organizational structures. And then there was another presentation after that. I didn't have time to attend. Again, more planning and organizing. And then finally... Um, I had the keynote speech talking about bringing the quant community together. I will see if we can make this a public video because it's just me talking, right? I don't need any releases or anything. It's literally just me. Um, I don't know if marketing uh, recorded it or not. So for those of you who don't know for the conference, a huge thank you to Agora Data and especially the marketing team. Uh, Agora Data financed the conference. Like they paid for all the stuff that we did at the conference, which was awesome. A huge thank you to them. Uh, this conference would not have been possible without them. Um, so that's that. And then also the marketing team, though, at Agora and the UTD's finance lab, uh, they all came together and did organization structuring and especially Agora Data's marketing team uh, because I'm at work. I have all these day projects and things I'm working on my day job. Uh, so I'm interacting with them a little bit, but they handled all the organization structure design. They worked a lot with UTD's uh, finance lab as well. And they're the ones that made this an amazing conference. So it's really on them. They did an extraordinary job of execution on this. Um, even like UTD though, the staff that even came, the students that helped as well, AV. So audio video was all set up. We had no glitches. We had no errors, right? I'm always worried like, oh, something's going to go wrong. Uh, the food setup was great. It was clean. Uh, it was kept nice and processed. Like things you worry about as a, a host. Uh, and that was awesome. Conference was amazing. Everyone enjoyed it. A few highlights for me, I'll tell you guys. Um, one was a student uh, flew down from New York City just to say thank you uh, because they'd watched some of my videos, been following me, and I recommended going to these conferences. They went to one of these conferences, ended up meeting someone there, and landed their first job. They're graduating in two weeks and really just wanted to thank me, um, and they're going to be starting their new job in New York City. And so I was like, you know, I'm, I'm excited. Like it's, it's nice to see like the videos are doing something, right? It's just nice to see the impact of that. So that piece of the community is nice to see like it's getting brought together. People are benefiting from my content. Um, Mahul Matha was there as well, other YouTuber. It was great watching. I'm 
know, just kind of watching on the side. I'm like talking to other people. Um, and there's people that are approaching him and chatting with him and wanting to talk with him. And his, his presentation was on careers and like resume writing a lot packed. So it was nice to see like the community is building around all these different people that are speaking and sharing and giving feedback. So that was another awesome piece of that. Something else that kind of struck me, which was interesting and not something I'd ever thought about is we had um, a student that came and was interested in learning more about quant finance. And I always encourage people, if you don't know anything about quant finance, come to the conference. We would love to chat with you. Everybody's very friendly. And she asked me a bunch of great questions. Uh, and then turned around and talked to a bunch of other people that were experts in the industry, practitioners, students, other people. And she did a really nice post saying she enjoyed the conference. She appreciated it. She learned a lot. And she realized that quant finance wasn't for her, right? Because there's so much additional schooling above and beyond a, an undergrad. There's a grad, you know, you have to get a master's or a PhD and go above and beyond with that. Um, and she just realized like school is just not for her. It's nice. And it's weird to say this, right? Like, oh, you want everyone to come in the community, but also it's nice to see people say, hey, this wasn't really something for me. Um, and this is actually helping me with the thought process. So a big thank you to her as well. Somebody asked me, how do you help people determine if quant finance is the right path for them? I'm still churning this through my head. This experience, this understanding, this perspective helps me think about this in a different light as well, because I never want to exclude people from the community and say, you know, you shouldn't pursue quant finance if this, right? Uh, I like some sort of reasoning here, whatever the reasoning is. Um, but I'm starting to help people. So you also, if like you're a math, a stats, computer science, or some sort of degree, and you're like, I don't know if I should pursue this or not. I don't want to waste a bunch of time. Is this the right path for me? It's a hard question to answer. So a big thank you, because now I'm starting to think about this video, future video idea of how we're going to do that a little bit differently there. So, and then after all this, uh, for those of you that aren't familiar, a lot of conferences have like speakers dinners afterwards or the night before the night after whatever we had it right afterwards. Uh, and I had a blast. Um, it was nice to go. I wish I could have had dinner with everybody. Um, but we had, you know, all 20, some 20 speakers and then we have marketing staff and we have, of course the UTD and their staff that helped out as well. Um, and so there's just a lot of people and it's like, I want to have dinner with this person and I want to have dinner with this other person. And it's nice because it's like, you can sit down and chat and have really insightful thoughts. And I tried to rotate around, but I'm like, I still missed different groups of people that I didn't get the chance to really sit and have some sort of quality discussion with, which I wish I would have. There was even some speakers I didn't get to have a chance to have quality discussions with. Um, there are some students as well, where it's like, I'm talking to them and answering and having a discussion. And it's like, uh, I got to go. I'm presenting in, like two minutes, I got to run and grab on the stage real quick. Um, so it was great. It was a great conference. I think this is, I, I will be honest. I think this is probably one of the best conferences I have attended, not just because I'm hosting it, um, but it was really amazing. The quality, all the pieces put together. Also, I want to give a shout out to David Shimko. So David Shimko is the quaint quant of the year for 2025. The first ever time we've given out the award. Um, I will see if I can get the footage from it because I believe they recorded it, uh, the marketing team, and see if we can make that a YouTube video. Um, he is very, very deserving of this award. Uh, just to give you kind of a brief highlight, uh, being a quaint quant of the year has to do with about giving back academically, mentorship, applicate like publications both in you know journals and things it doesn't have to be an academic journal but journals um, papers newspapers like giving back to the community and not just one way but a bunch of ways and one of the bullets I had in there was generosity with time right a lot of the ventures we do as quants when you're giving back to the community are not monetary compensation it's like every speaker out there flew in on their own right the company, their company sponsored it or they paid for it to fly out. I mean, I'm going out to Fordham here in a month. I'm paying to fly myself out to Fordham because I want to be at Fordham. I want to support Fordham's program. Um, I also want to network and meet with other people. So again, all these you know presenters pay to come. They're paying to be there uh, to get in, just to you know fly and travel and food and all that stuff just to get to this conference. So they are very generous with their time and their money uh, to make these conferences something amazing. And on top of that, the amount of attendees that also paid to fly, I was shocked at how many people were coming. It was like New York, I think there's New Mexico, California, Michigan, uh, Indiana, and I think Illinois as well. Uh, and then I think Florida, Louisiana, 
Like it was crazy amount of people that came in from all these different areas. But again, thank you to all of you guys as well for paying to be here and come to the conference. These conferences, even if I could set up the world's best panel uh, a second time, these conferences are nothing without great attendees. So a huge thank you and a huge support um, for the rest of you as well. Like me trying to reach back out and say thank you guys for making this happen as well and making this such an enjoyable conference here. So anyways, I'll put a few pictures on here as well. Um, I have nothing back from anyone. I still need to go through my LinkedIn. I think I've got like 50 or 60 uh, connection requests, a ton of invites. I glanced this morning and saw people tagged me and I'm trying to like and comment back, but I have a bunch of stuff going on this weekend as well. Uh, so I will try to catch up on all that. I will hopefully make another video and again, try to put some of my my portions of the conference itself, perhaps more on YouTube and live. Um, but a huge, huge thank you to everybody involved in the conference. Um, a special thank you to Data Bento as well. Christina Chi came out. She set up a table. Um, so again, it's just nice to have people's table set up, talk to students, practitioners, um, really bringing together all the different parts of the community. We had a few clubs as well. So uh, SMU, Southern Methodist University's trading club was there as well. They had a table, some flyers, talked to some people as well. Uh, and then UTD had their FinTech club there. And I believe there's like the finance club that also came. It was just nice to have some interaction with some of these clubs and organizations that also just help support this. And then finally, a last thank you to Carnegie Mellon's uh, Computational Finance Masters and also to Lehigh University's Financial Engineering Masters um, because they both sponsored 10 tickets, right? They're going to, they bought 10 tickets and they gave them out to students. I gave them out to the YouTube channel, helped them with that transaction there. Um, but there are many students that came. A few said that they would not have come and paid for their flights and everything if they wouldn't have had some sort of like nudge of like encouragement to come. Uh, again, undergrads as well those tickets. So a huge thank you both to Lehigh and to Carnegie Mellon. So anyways, I hope to see you guys there next year. I pretty sure we're all set to do planning next year to do a third year of this. Um, every year in my head, I'm like, this is the best it is. This is amazing. I'm so happy. And then we have topped it now the second year and made it even bigger, even better, even more quaint, even though we're getting larger, there's still even better interactions and more like one-on-one -on -one personal kind of conversations going on with this. So anyways, thank you guys. I hope to see you next year at the next Quaint Quan Conference.